Allen dancing out of the pocket. Allen now fires towards the end zone, and it is incomplete. Charles Clay was open. Are you not entertained? Subscribe now! Uh, FYI for everybody, uh, premiere episode of our Saturday Live series um, is going to be on Sportscaster starting next week. So uh, two ways to access Sportscaster. They have an app available uh, in the Apple Store. It's only Apple right now. Or you can just use the website, sportscaster.com. You can access it all through the website. Um, yep, it's right there. So if you want to comment, which that's what the live shows are for. It's for us to talk to you guys. Yep. Uh, you got to register for Sportscaster in order to comment. If you just want to watch, you can just go right, right to the website or use the app. You can watch the show from there. Um, but if you want to get you know the notifications of when we're live and you want to be able to comment, you got to register for Sportscaster. It takes three seconds. Super easy. Josh Allen. I'm so glad you said that name because that's, that's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about Josh Allen. Uh huh. What it would take for him to break four thousand yards? Um. Oh, oh. Are we talking all-purpose yards? Or are we talking passing yards? Because Josh Allen, you have to also figuring figuring uh, in the yards with with his legs. Are we talking four thousand all-purpose yards? Are we treating him like a running back in that respect? We're not treating him like a. We're, 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 we're in Baltimore. I know he's not Lamar Jackson. I get it, but like, it's you want to have you want to talk. You know, about, a lot of people are comparing them to. Yeah, uh, I don't get that comparison. Just because he runs a lot. I mean, Allen had some called runs, and there were also times where he was running for his life. That's okay. that's what it was. So breaking it down. Yeah. Allen, four thousand yard passer. Yep. Is a two hundred fifty yards a game. Okay. Through the air. Yep. 62 a quarter. Okay. How many... That's six first downs. A quarter. Yeah. There were games where the Bills had six first downs all game. I understand that, and I'm well aware of that. Uh, I think 4,000 passing yards next year is doable. You don't think this year? I don't think this year. Okay. If he throws for 4,000 yards... They're how do I put this so I don't offend everyone? What, they're gonna be two and fourteen. <laughs> right. If yeah. he throws for four thousand yeah. yards, I'm like I'm yeah. I'm thinking six and ten again or yeah. seven and nine because You're having a throw. You're but having a throw. With right. this defense, let me rephrase. It's not that he can't throw for four thousand. He won't. Yeah. Because you won't be asked to. See, and I'm looking at this a little bit differently, right? So I agree that if you're going to ask for Josh Allen to be a 4,000-yard passer, there might be a little bit of a record issue in hand, right? I think From an opportunity your defense standpoint. isn't yeah, playing yeah. the way you, that right, you're yeah, supposed yeah. to. Yeah, I think you have to be a little mindful of that. You're absolutely right. How, I, but I, the reason I asked about all-purpose was because I think Allen can get to 32. I think Allen can get to 3,300. And then you add in... 400 yards on the ground, 500 yards on the and now you're starting to creep towards 4,000. So I see this a little bit differently. I think you can get Allen to 32, 33 this season, but I, I don't 200 think... 200 yards a game is very doable. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think you can get him to 32, creep 33, but you're still going to add you 400 yards on the ground. Like So, okay, well, 32 in the air, 400 on the ground. Now you're at 36. I mean, we're getting closer here, right? It is, it is just his second year. And the wide receiver group is going to be, has been completely revised. You have the same offensive coordinator. You have a new quarterbacks coach. You have a new offensive line coordinator. You have a whole new offensive line. So there's some things at play here that are going to stunt the stride to 4,000. And it's going to be the first eight games of the season. Because the Bills are going to run the ball because you can install the run a lot better than you can install the pass. Yes. So I think because of the fact that they're going to be in some a lot of close games. Mm-hmm. They're um, they're gonna protect the ball a little bit more. Right. So if they're down like twenty-one nothing at the end of the first quarter, well, you know he's heaving it. Right. You know they're gonna let right. him. Right. You know they're gonna let him. But this defense is built, and this whole team is built to be a control the clock, 
keep the score low. Let us win it in the end. Right. Listen, you, if you throw for two and a quarter, two touchdowns, no picks, that's a victory for us. A, can you can you imagine losing a lot of games having those statistics? Well, and I guess you know everybody talks about Allen's arm, right? But I, it's the underneath game that I'm most curious about at the beginning of the season to see what's there, right? Because I'll just give you an example, right? So that was 3,600 yards, by the way. Two, what? 225 a game? Yeah. 3,600 yeah, yards. Right. Very doable. But again, I think I think there's a buffer on those first six to eight games. I think if he hits two hundred, if he hits two ten, you're like, okay, good game. We you threw the ball twenty four times, threw for two hundred yards. Good job. He's not throwing the ball fifty times a game. Now, how how different is the narrative going to be if he in the first like let's say the first six games, uh-huh. Bills are four and two. Right. He has three games under two hundred yards passing. Yeah. They win those. Yep. Not to say that it's going to happen, but what's the narrative going to be? Like, usually if, you're, if your quarterback throws for 300 yards, yeah. you're going to win. Hey, the knee-jerk reaction is to, look at his, is to look at his completion percentage. That's what everybody's going to do. They're going to go, okay, well, he threw for 180 yards, and he was, uh, you know, 18 for 27. You know, they're going to go, oh, well, that's... You know, that's close to 500. Uh-oh. Right? It's, well, yeah, close to 500. Three more pass attempts, three less completions, 500. Same. Just, here's the deal. That's 66% completion percentage. Right I'm not mad about that. No. Well, all right. All right. <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah. I know. But, a couple, but a couple receptions, plus or minus. Bill's had some trouble with drops last season. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So a couple receptions, plus or minus, and you're hovering closer to his career completion percentage was like what 52 yeah. three it's not great you know at the end of the season Allen played better but his completion percentage went down I don't think completion percentage is a big deal I I really I'm not being an Allen apologist I don't look at completion percentage I want to know how far what are your air yards per attempt tell me how far you're trying to throw your average pass and if it's over 10 yards then that explains why your completion percentage is garbage Oh, no, you can find justifications for why the completion percentage is not up there. Right. Um, he's, he's not a check down guy. No. And nope. check downs will pad your stats to sure be in do. the 60s. Trent Edwards. Oh, my God. Great example. <laughs> Captain check down. He's already soiled the Murano. <laughs> Trent Edwards. I didn't. Mentioned Jabron Hamden. That's not swelling. That's that's christening. <laughs> Jabron Hamden, that golden treasure. Yeah. Uh, Love Jabron Hamden. Yeah. So if he's if he's able to check it down, if they put plays in, now am I going to look at his completion percentage? Well, if he has all of these design passes, mm-hmm. ones where he doesn't have to read, I, I right. always you got to have those built in for the kid because mm-hmm. it builds your confidence on the first couple plays, the first couple series. You know what I mean? So. He could easily have a 60% completion percentage. But if he has a 60% completion percentage, let's say he goes 18 mm-hmm. for 27 in that game, 180. He completed seven passes to running backs. Right. Does that worry you? It's all things. It's all about watching the game, right? It's not about looking at the stats afterwards because that I think that misleads a lot of people. You're right. You have to watch the game to see where he is. Yeah. You know, it's there's if you take a look at the routes that – Dable was running with Allen last season, right? There were a lot of, you know, four receiver sets out, right? But there was still only one real, real read. Allen was looking for one guy. All the routes were set up to get one guy open. Mm-hmm. And when that guy wasn't open, he ran. He didn't look for the outlet. When his one guy wasn't open, when his hot read wasn't open, he ran. Well, a lot of that could be attributed to he didn't have time to look at the check down. He didn't have time to look at a second read, so he took off. But the other thing could have been he, he took off because he was getting flushed, flushed out of pocket. Mm-hmm. Like, there was no blocking whatsoever. Well, and I think that's going to be one thing that's different this year than last year is I don't think Allen's going to face a ton of pressure. You know who's going to face a ton of pressure this year? Who? Dabes. Yeah. Brian. Dabes. Yeah. I, Dabes. Yeah. We, yeah. Think of it. Think of it this way. Think of it this way. Hey, 
I need receivers. There you go. Yeah. I oh, need a line. Yeah. There you Here go. There you go. Gave him, gave him everything. You know he what, needed. though? But you know what? You want these things? We need our eyes there, too. Mm-hmm. Here's Dorsey. We got our eyes in the room, too, know, now. right? That's just that's their guy. That's just Dorsey's weird to guy. me. Like, there's no way Dable could have been on board with that. Yeah. But getting back to Allen, I'm saying is, he, him and Dave, Dable's success is tied to Allen. Yeah. However Allen performs is how Dable's going to be remembered. Mm-hmm. But also going to be how this regime, McDermott and Bean, are going to be remembered. Because Allen's the, the was the franchise. Everyone right. that comes in and it doesn't, they get their guy in there as fast as they can. Right. They got Allen. Going back to him though, four thousand yards. You can make an argument for oh they're they're playing horrible, or they're playing good. I don't think he's going to have a second season like a Dan Marino mm-hmm. where he throws for five thousand yeah, and forty eight no. touchdowns. No. Um, he's just not that pure of a passer. He's got a great arm. He's not that pure of a passer. But four thousand yards. I, I, I strongly feel if, they, if he throws for 4,000 yards, the Bills are not going to have a winning season. I think it's because they're losing a lot of games and they can, he's going to have to throw. Yeah, it's it's definitely something you have to be careful of when you wish for it. Does that sound right? crazy, though? Because no, I, I see where Eli he's throws for 4,000 every year. Yeah. And they're awful. awful. <laughs> they're awful. How does he have a, a, a star running back like that and he still throws for 4,000? Mm-hmm. Like, because they're losing. Yeah. He's got to throw. I look at it this way. They've invested as many resources as they could into the offense. Get the offense ready now, right? Not develop the offense, right? To get the offense, throw that. In. It's your car. You can do whatever. You want. Um, to get the offense off the ground right away, right? They didn't. They're not pushing the car down the road and hoping these guys develop. They're saying, okay, we need this offense to start right now. Cody Ford, you're not ready. We've got eight guys fighting for your spot. No mm-hmm. big deal to us. Deion Dawkins, you're not cutting the left tackle. No problem. We signed a hundred guys to take your spot. That's it. They're they're trying to get the offense on track as quick as possible now, mm-hmm. right? Which I respect. Yeah. However, there's there's a lot of play concepts that concern me a little bit that I think are going to stunt Allen's growth a little bit, right? So I'll I'll give you an example, right? So one of the popular routes that the Bills ran last year were double posts and an over route, okay? So that's when two wide receivers are on one side, they're running two posts, right? And what that does is it drags the safety, right? And then then they have an over, which is wide receiver or tight end coming off the line and cutting back across those routes behind it, right? That's supposed to get that over single coverage. That's the hot read. The double posts are just to pull the safeties over. The over is to get single coverage on the outside, right? That's Allen's hot read. Here's the problem. That play takes forever to develop. By the time your outlet passes are open, the those the the two posts and the over, they're not done yet. Those routes haven't developed yet. So the play design bothers me quite a bit. Because if you're gonna call that over as the hot read, you're setting Allen up for failure. Because you're depending on him to read and hit that over route. If not, these two outlet passes that you have designed in with the running back and, you know, another wide receiver or tight end flying out to the flat, those those are dead now. He just goes They're later. He just goes later. Like, if you're talking about a running back leaking out, right. he'll stay in an extra two seconds. Mm-hmm. And then he'll leak out because then that's when the read's supposed to be over. You have a pattern of prog- – you have a, w- a way of progressing through routes that if they're a deeper route – uh, you'll but, know when you. It's not gonna be a three step. It'll be a three step. That's different. He has a five step, or he's in shotgun. He reads that. He tries to get the safety to move with his eyes. Then the running back knows that it's a long developing play. Then he'll leak out later. But like it's not. That's, but that's the, what I'm trying to bring up is the finer points of watching the game, right? Yeah. So when you're watching the game at home, that running back, if he's staying in there, he's not always staying in there just to pass protect. He might just be there to chip and leak, right? Mm-hmm. You just have to watch that because if the running back's leaking out immediately, then you know that the that the hot read's a shorter route, right? If the running back's staying in, then you know the hot read, that initial, that primary target, it's a longer developing route. Mm-hmm. So those are just some of the finer points to pay attention to. The problem is Allen didn't know the difference last year, right? And that's something that he's got to, he's got to improve on that. It has to get better. Mm-hmm. I don't think a 4,000 yards is, is even in the window this season. I'm If you get 32, 
I would be happy. 32, 24 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. Russell Wilson, right down the middle numbers. That's it. Because you're you're trying to you're trying to get this running game off the ground. Allen will not be successful throwing the football if you can't run the ball. It's funny that the running game has to get off the ground. I thought the passing game would be off the ground. Dad jokes. Stay tuned for dad next joke. week's dad jokes. Oh my god.